welcome back to the Tia channel and before we begin because I am playing as a another Native American sim this time we're going to do something different and I'm going to give you someone who is important in the Native American community as a whole as a woman so the person that we're going to be learning about today, her name is Lydia Conley. I hope I'm saying that correctly. If I'm not, please correct me. Like if you are aware of her name or if you are aware of Native American language, please correct me. Do not hesitate to correct me. Okay. Okay. So her name is Lydia Conley. And of course, you know, I'm going to be posting pictures. Of course, you already know. The pictures are already up, but just saying. She is the first female Native American plaintiff to present a case before the United States Supreme Court. And she was actually an attorney. So she is one of the first female Native attorneys. Her entire name is Elisa Burton, and her like nickname is Lydia Conley. She graduated from Kansas City School of Law in 1902 and became the first woman admitted to the Kansas Bar. What? She became the first woman admitted to the Kansas Bar. She was upset about what they were doing as far as... Uh, it was Kansas Sacred Burial Grounds. But the U.S. federal government, they wanted to do something with the grounds but she didn't want that you know it's burial grounds and it was sacred so she took the case to court of course she didn't win at first <clears throat> but in 1916 the cemetery was designated a federal park so today the cemetery renamed Wyandot National Burial Ground enjoys National Historic Landmark status and that's all thanks to Miss uh, Lydia Conley. And wow. Okay, so she was born in 1869 and then she died in 1946. You guys, she was doing some stuff in her day. That's amazing. So yes, I know this isn't a history list. I'm going to be playing as Native Americans, Sims in my game. Then I want that culture to be there they really don't get enough attention like they should we just we really just don't talk about them they don't even have their own month but anyways okay i'm sorry i am diverting but okay we're gonna go ahead and get into the gameplay all right you guys welcome 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 what is up we are here oh my gosh she's pretty asleep anyways so <laughs> i'm sorry i absolutely love her if you cannot tell i have a love for this woman she's a young woman apparently anyways so she is my first native american female sim okay like i look at her hair look at the braids you guys i love it okay you can't really see it because she's asleep right now but when it's time for her to get up you know we'll go ahead and look into her and i'll show you what she looks like and as you can see there's a little baby over here you know what i'm saying it's a lot going on in this household but <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't really know what to do. You know, okay, we're just, you know what? You know what? Before I introduce her, we're just, we're going to play it, okay? I know normally I don't do this, but we're going to play. Oh my gosh. Look at what's going on here. So we have a little bitty baby over here, a little cute little baby. And then we have... Sakari. I'm trying to see y'all. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. Okay. You know what? We're gonna wait until we're gonna wait until somebody wakes up, you know. And she might wake up, you know. But anyways, 
How are you guys doing? I know I'm a bit like all over the place, but you'll see why I'm like all over the place when, when this baby wakes up. But yeah, um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to go ahead and wake her up. Look at there. Fantasia will grow up in just one day at 6 p.m. It's time to plan a party and buy Fantasia a birthday cake. All right, you guys. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and do this, even though she's asleep. Because when they wake up, as you can see, it's about to be someone's birthday. It's a car it keeps in right now. She's asleep. And she, look at, you got, you guys, let me take a picture. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. Oh my gosh. Wait, can you zoom? So she has all of these beauty marks on her face. Why? Because she's Native American, period. And she has the piercings because that's kind of just like what she likes. She likes all the piercings. So she has an eyebrow piercing, a nose piercing, and a lip piercing. But you know, whatever. You do what you do. You only have one life, you guys. Just live it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So as you know, if she is Native American, then that means that her name has a Native American meaning. And her name comes from, like, Native American origins. So Sakari is Native American. And it means sweet. <laughs> I don't know if she, you know what? No, no, no. Sakari is sweet. She's just living her best life. <laughs> That's all. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. That's all I can really say. Like, I don't know. I just, I don't know, okay? She is sweet. She's just living her life. That's what it is. Now, if you look here, you can see that this is green which is the aspiration meter and right now her aspiration level is lusty lover it's green i normally don't have it in the green okay we'll talk about that in a second all right so she is a romance sim if you haven't gathered from the little romance icon here and her wants in particular <laughs> she's a romance sim and, uh, you know, she's just uh, living her life. But let's go ahead and get into who she is. And when they wake up and everything. The reason why I'm doing this now is because it's going to be Fantasia's birthday. Like, right now. As soon as they wake up, it's going to be her birthday and her birthday party. So, like, <sighs> just won't have any time to, like, explain who she is and who they are. Okay, so... You know, if I didn't start off with a what, a household bio, that means what, this sim does not have a bio either. Like I said, we're going to keep moving and trucking along, and the sims from here on out, they will not have any bios. So there's no need in going over there. Y'all know I don't like the backtrack. So, her zodiac, she is a Taurus. So that means she's actually in the middle when it comes to sloppy and neat. She's in the middle when it comes to shy and outgoing. She's lazy. She's playful. But she's kind of mean. She's kind of mean. I don't know if she's the bully sim, you guys. I can't remember. But anyways. So her reputation, she is an average cabbage. Remember, we don't care about interest at the moment. Okay, so... As you can see, there isn't anything glowing, right? So, since nothing is glowing, I haven't discovered Sakari's hobby yet. I don't know what it is yet. I have to figure it out. I haven't been able to because, you know, <laughs> she has a baby, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Y'all, let's do this. Look how many. Look at this. Not even that many memories, you guys. It gets shorter and say it with me shorter and say it one more time and shorter and one more time and shorter yes yes we are getting through this you gotta rock and roll okay all right so these are default memories and we don't read the defaults all right so she moved in and she immediately met aiden campbell 
Then she met Halima Campbell, which is Aiden's dog, of course. Then she got a job, and we will get to her job soon. She met Fidel King. Okay, I, you know, I did the pause right there for a second, you know what I'm saying? You know, that, that, that should tell you a little something. She met Hakan Olsen. She met Tahira Nelson. Oh my gosh. I mean, just looking at her memories, it just makes me think about life. So, okay. She is a romance sim. And if you don't know, now you know. Okay, I'm sorry. If you don't know, then you would have to go back and watch The Baker Household to understand how romance sims operate and how I play romance sims. So it can be really fun for them, especially like, you know, for their lifestyle and whatnot. So she was attracted to Fadil out of everyone that she had just met. She was attracted to Fadil the most. So as a romance, Sam, you know, she kissed Fadil, you know, and then they wooed. She had her very first woohoo with Fadil and did woohoo with Fadil. She made out with Fadil, saw first snow, met IS2 Quinn, and he is coming up next. He is actually the next household, and that household is going to be amazing. That's all I'm going to say. You're going to have to watch it to, you know, go from there. But it's going to be amazing, is all I can say. Met Lindsay Louie. She is a non-playable. Made best friends with the deal. Met Jace Makarovich. Kiss Jace for the first time. Okay. So, yeah, she was attracted to Jace. And so she kissed him, you know what I'm saying? You got to keep him moving, you know? Made a BFF with the deal. Then she got a promotion. She fell in love with the deal. Then she met Chaquel Edwards. She met Gretchen Ch Then she had a dream date with the deal. If you are like confused about that, you would have to go and watch Fadil's household, Fadil King's household, in order to understand like what's going on with these memories here. But yeah, he asked her on a date. They went on a date. It was a dream date. It was amazing, <laughs> to say the least. <sighs> then she met Sabrina Baker. She met Valentina Johnson. She met Charlie Tang, who is a non-playable. Then she had Fantasia. Okay. So, I mean, I obviously can't hide it. If you were paying attention, then you will know. So I can't hide it at this point. You know, I can't hide it. I can't hide it. Um, obviously, this is Fadil's baby. <laughs> If you haven't seen Fadil King's that, then you already know anyway, but if you're new, then, uh, yeah, you have a lot to catch up on, but, um, <clears throat> yep, this is Fadil's baby girl, his other baby, and, you know, there's no hiding it, literally, he is the only person that she woohooed with, you know, did have very first woohoo and did woohoo. All right, so let me explain this. I was just, and the way that I play, if you're night out, like I find out when my Sims find out. I don't find out when the game alerts you that the Sim is pregnant. I find out when my Sims find when she was pregnant. And I was like, yo, I was just kidding. Why are you pregnant right now? Like, how did you get pregnant? Why are you pregnant? What is going on? Woosa, woosa, woosa. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I just, I don't know, you guys. I really wanted her to live her life. Like, I didn't want her to be pregnant right now and have to be concerned about a baby and a child. And you just have to, like, you have to put everything on the back burner. You know, it's just, oh, it's so much. I just, I just, I really didn't want that for her. I really, really didn't. But, it happened, okay? It happened, and it happened. It's fine. It's fine. It is what it is. Anyways, she had Fantasia. So she decided to name her baby after Fadil. 
But Sakari was aware of Fadil's first child. Sakari knew about his first baby mama. Like, she was well aware because he told her, you know, like, Fadil's not going to hide the fact that he has children. He loves his children. So, you know, he told her, he's like, yeah, you know, I got a baby with, you know, somebody, and her name is Fadaya, blase, blase. And she's like, well, I can't name the baby Fadaya. And so she comes up with the name of Fantasia. Now, I know that Fantasia already has a meaning, but because Sakari is supposed to be naming her daughter after Fadil, I want Fantasia to create a meaning for her own name, you know? So we'll see. We'll definitely see what happens with that. Okay. Made best friends with Jace. Remember, you know, she kissed him and whatnot. So this is after she had the baby. She made best friends with Jace. She had two best friends. And then she did woohoo with Jace, okay? Listen, listen, listen. Sakari so isn't really in the business of following falling in love she just wants to hook up with a bunch of different male sims you know that's all she wants to do and that's fine like if that's the life you want to live bro live it you know so after she woohoo with him because remember she just kind of wants to do the hookup thing she doesn't really want to like be in love do the whole lovey-dovey thing it's just more like a little hookup and if you need guidance or understanding when it comes to that then you would have to watch damien graham's episode Anyways, so she moved on to the next one, which was Hakan, who she was attracted to the most next. So she kissed Hakan for the first time, made best friends with Hakan, had three best friends. She fell in love with Hakan, which was unexpected, had two loves at once. She made out with Hakan and did boohoo with Hakan. Made best friends with Fantasia. That's her daughter. So cute. Then she got demoted, y'all. <laughs> it's those chance cards. But you know what? I can say, like, you know, she was at work. And she was just off her game, you know. She's been woohooing around. She's been trying to take care of a baby and then go to work. Like, you have that energy when you're young. Like, she was really, really young around this time. You have that energy when you're young, but you're like, you're young. And she's a single mother, you know? Like, she's, she is the youngest I've ever had a sim have a baby in this neighborhood. Met Andrea Hogan, who is a non playable. Made a BFF with Akan. Made a BFF with Chase. Made two BFFs. Made three BFFs. And, but she got back on her game. See, she got promotion. Met Sophia Anderson. Made a BFF with her daughter. Met Fatima Baker. She even met Sabrina's cat. Met Fadaya Baker. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about this for a second. So, um, honestly, I can't remember if I talk about this. <laughs> you guys, I can't remember if I talk about this in Fadil's episode but we could talk about it now too because he talk his way out of all the mess that he puts himself into y'all is crazy work even though he's making me feel like i am just nothing <laughs> like i'm just a number at this point just baby mama number two like i am not even his lover but anyways he was able to fix that so yeah that's how that went for Sakari though I mean on her end it was just kind of like you're really treating me some type of way just because this is your baby mama like I'm your baby mama too like and I'm your lover like what like you can't just treat me like that and you was in my bed the other night like what's going on and as you saw in her memories like he had just asked her out on a dream date like you was just with her, and you're acting funny like that? Okay, like, that's crazy. So, anyways, so that's what happened with that. That is Sakari Peterson's side of the story. So, she met J.C. Smith. We will get to J.C. soon. Made best friends with Chaquel. Had five best friends. She met Andres Edwards, which is Chaquel's cat. And if you watch Chaquel's episode then these memories will make sense as to like 
her seeing them and meeting them and playing with Andres. She met Yaa Anderson, met Damian Graham, potty trained Fantasia, which is her daughter. She got a promotion, yes, and then she earned 5,000 simoleons. She met Tiffany Zarubin, who is a non-playable. She made a BFF with Chuckwell Edwards. She met Amanda Carlson, who is a non-playable. She met Alan Thomason, who is a non-playable. And then she met Unity Lewis, who is a playable sim. And we will actually get to her next. So nice. All right. See, look at there. We went through those memories. I told you what's been going on with her life. Like, literally, this has been her life. Like, it's, she's still very young. Like, look at this. Look at how many, look at this. Becomes an elder in 22 days. She is so young. Like, I just, I can't even right now. I just can't even. Okay, let's go to her chemistry. This is her chemistry. Her turn-ons are red hair, being charismatic, which is for deal. <laughs> and her turn-off is lycanthropy. So lycanthropy is just a werewolf, which you can't have supernatural in Sims 2. <clears throat> okay, so let's go to her career. So she is in the business career, and she's a field sales representative. And it says, before you move up in the company, you'll have to earn your dues putting in a long day on the road. Meet your quotas. Charisma can make a good sales pitch great. And make good contracts. And you'll be ripe for a promotion to an office without wheels. <laughs> I can't wait until that happens for her. But yeah, this is her life. And as you can see, here is her little baby. So this is what relationships look like when you're not married to another Sam and you just have a baby with someone. As you can see, like it only says, let me see. Yeah, it says that Fantasia Peterson, her daughter, is her family. It doesn't have the deal. So if they're not married, they don't recognize them as like, the hierarchy of family which i don't know if some people like dislike that but i genuinely love that <laughs> because if you're not married we're not technically a family <laughs> i mean my only ties to you is this baby you know but if it wasn't for you it would be the baby so you know so technically you are family. then we can look at the family tree so this is family tree of Sakari Peterson and as you can see this is Sakari Peterson and this is Fantasia Peterson and her wants so she wants to make out with three different Sims she wants to flirt with Akan oh she wants to be best friends with y'all and she wants to flirt with Fadil yes let's go here okay yeah Okay, so let's talk about this very quickly because I did speak about this in Tahira Nelson's episode and I'm not sure what's going on with that episode. I actually have to like go back and check and look at that. But anyways, I'm going to explain it here. Let's explain Sakari Peterson's side of the story. So Tahira Nelson had the get together at her house, right? Tahira invites Fadil, <clears throat> her lover, she invites Sakari Peterson, her friend at the time, and she invites Shaquille, and I think she invited y'all, right? So, Fadil begins flirting with Sakari Peterson at Tahira Nelson's house. Tahira and Fadil were lovers. This is Fadil and this is Tahira. They, well, not were, if you watched, or if you are able to watch Tahira Nelson's episode, then you will know that they are more than uh, just lovers right especially at this point so at the time Sakari was pregnant like nobody knew who the baby daddy was like and that's what I like that's the other thing that I like if they're not married then it's like who's the baby daddy <laughs> none of your business anyways okay <clears throat> so Sakari was pregnant at the time, and she was, as you can see, it says 56 over 56. So she actually still sees Tahira as a friend. 
Tahira actually got really angry at Fadil. She didn't really get that mad at Sakari. She was mad at Sakari, but she was more so angry at Fadil. But Tahira did get angry with Sakari, and she was like, you know, I thought you were my friend. Like, I don't think we're friends anymore, and you need to, like, get out of my house. Like, who I thought you were, you're not. And Sakari's like, like, I didn't do anything. Like, that's not... Dah. She didn't want to say that's my baby daddy. It's like, mm, he's just someone who's... He's flirtatious. You know he's flirtatious. She's like, no. Like, that's not cool. Like, you my friend. I told you, you know who I'm dealing with X, Y, and C and for you to be doing all of that is not cool. You don't have to get out, step, and we're not friends anymore. So yeah, they're not friends anymore. That's her side of the story. They're not really friends anymore. And she wants to make out with Ooh! Wow, that is three bolts. <laughs> Let's not look at that right now. Let's continue with what we're supposed to be continuing on. Okay, let's go to the little precious baby. Oh, you guys, um, I don't know if you guys can hear the dogs. It's my neighbors. They are just barking like crazy. I don't know what's wrong with them. I love dogs, but like, stop it. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear the dogs. So I do apologize for that if you are able to hear that. I really do apologize for that. I am sorry about that. I don't know what's going on with that. But anyways, okay. <clears throat> this is Fantasia Peterson. And as you can see, she is extremely happy. This is her aspiration level. Her aspiration meter, it says Miracle Might, which is platinum. So she's in the platinum. Or I like call it silver. Some people call it white. But it's really called platinum. So anyways, yeah. And, oh, and yeah, you can see from her little plum bob. Look at it shining. Yes, plum bob, shine. All right, so let's go through, well, we can go to her personality first. So this is her symbology. So she is an Aries. And I don't really know. Um. Oh, you know what? She is an Aries like her father. Fadil is an Aries. So she's an Aries just like him. Oh, my gosh, that's so funny. But she is the same level of sloppy and as her mom. But I think Fadil is the same thing. Like, he's... Because he's not a sloppy sim. Oh, she's extremely outgoing. And I think that's the opposite of Sakari. She's really active. She's serious. Oh, and she's mean. But at least she's not playful. So she's not... She's not the bully sim, though. And she wouldn't have a reputation where she shouldn't. Do we know her hobby? No, we don't. Okay, so we can go to her memories. Look at this. Met Fadil King, which is her daddy. She met her daddy. Made best friends with her mom. She met Callista Dispret. Remember, this is uh, the nanny. I don't know. I don't know if she's called it an NPC. I don't know. Anyways, um, for me... She's not playable. <laughs> okay, so because she has a sibling, they get the memories. So Fadaya got an A+. Plus. So as you can see, she hasn't met Fadaya yet. She's actually going to meet her tonight at her birthday party. But she has relatives in the game. You still get memories and connections of here and there of like, oh, this relative is doing this or this relative is doing that. So, yeah. She made a BFF with her mom. She learned to talk from her dad. Hey, you need to be put to work, you know. Made best friends with her dad. She had two best friends. She was potty trained by her mom. <clears throat> She found the magical lamp, and then she made a BFF with her dad. So that's that. She's not going to have any chemistry because she's a toddler. There's not going to be anything here except for her skills. And we can look at her relationships. She only knows the nanny, and this is her family, you see? But when she meets Fadaya, then her family, Fadaya will be added as a family member as well. Do you see? That says sister there. So this is 
Fantasia's family tree. Now, I will say, which I am truly excited about. So, Fantasia. I might need to put a drum roll sound here. Fantasia is the first mixed sim baby in this neighborhood. And I love that. I absolutely love that. So Fantasia is half black, half Native American. Her mom, as you know, is Native American. And Fadil, if you've watched that episode, then you know Fadil is black. So Fantasia is my first little mixed baby. That's why her hair is like curly and she has brown hair like her dad. But that's why her hair is curly, like it has like a, a curly texture to it, which is like the theme that I think I'm going to try to keep for her. We'll see. We'll see. I'll have to like go in and figure out what to do with like her hairstyles and stuff like that. But um, her hair isn't straight like her mom's, but it's not as curly as Fadil's. Like it's, it's like a, an in-between texture. And... Not everybody's hair turns out like that when you're mixed. You may end up having your dad's hair, like, all the way. Or your mom's hair all the way. Like, it's crazy how genetics work. But um, the way that I do it with the randomness and things of that nature, <clears throat> it was decided <laughs> by the randomness that I use that I've told you about before. It was decided that her hair would be a bit more of the curly, like a wavy curl pattern. So yeah, that is Fantasia in a nutshell. That is them in a nutshell. Question, should I show you guys the house right now? You know what? Let me show you. Let, let's let's do this. Let's let's do this, bro. Let's do it because because why not? Look at this. So this is Fantasia Peterson. No one lives there. No one lives there. Who's over there? No one. No one. I guarantee you, no one lives over there. Oh, see, look at that. I was right. No one. <laughs> okay. Let's keep it pushing. I think that's Anderson. It is, huh? Nelson? Oh, Tahira. Oh my gosh, Tahira lives on the side of her. Okay. Tahira Nelson. Then you got Chaquel Edwards, Subdor Freeman down there. And yeah, little trees over there. And a little bus stop right here. Don't know who's coming to the bus stop, but it's there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do like a little run down shigamabob. Okay. All right. So, yeah, walk in. Whoa, um, whoa, okay. You're not crouching. You need to get up. <laughs> okay, so you walk in. I guess we're a guy because she's just really tall. You're like, bro, it's time for everybody to wake up because, um, you know, it's her birthday today. Like, we all need to get ready and dressed. And they're like, yeah, okay. But um, just come in slowly. We're still kind of asleep. So here's her computer desk and everything. And you'll see her favorite color. Um... I don't think it's white. I think her favorite color is more like silver. But, um, yeah, you can, I mean, you kind of just buy what you can afford, you know? So, yeah, you, as you can see, her house is baby proof. Hold on, excuse me. <clears throat> I had to clear my throat for a second. As you can see, her house is a little bit baby proof with the baby high chair over there you got the toy box you got the little oh the little charisma toy and you have the changing table of course of course okay and then you're like all right well 
I think you guys should totally get up because it's time for the party. And they're like, oh, we're kind of asleep. Oh, my gosh, this is so cute. So, yeah, um, like I said, her house is more of like a silver look. And her baby has like, you know, the little pink stuff and everything. They're like, okay, well, you know, I got to use the bathroom. Sure, go in the bathroom, but watch out for the potty. <laughs> That's a little children's potty. It is so cute. So, yeah, so this is, wow, you're a vampire if you can't see yourself in the mirror. But anyways, all right. So, yeah, so this is the bathroom with the little bar soap over there, which I kind of didn't notice before. You go over here you're like okay so this is the kitchen got it oh my gosh you are really tall if you're like hitting the the light fixture <laughs> okay we're just gonna say that this is a guy because it's just really tall so yeah so this is the dining room area and i just like the lighting in here it looks so good i might actually i'm not gonna take a picture i'm gonna leave it alone i'm gonna leave it alone so you come, okay, you come out here to a stray dog, but um, yeah, so you come out here, there's the magical lamp, nobody's gonna steal it, cause you know, curses, yada yada, so you go down the steps, and you're like, oh, the Andersons live over there, oh, it looks so pretty outside, and you look, you're like, oh, you got a little kitty pool, you got a little thing for the little kid to ride on, it looks kind of weird. And what is this? Oh, that's a picnic table for the kids to eat at. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. I see your place. I see what you rocking with over here. And yeah, that is Sakari's place. We are back at the front. And that's it, you guys. That, that, that was it. That was the rundown. That was the rundown. Now, at the moment, I'm not going to check her stuff right now. Because right now, they really need to get ready for this birthday. Like, seriously. Let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. <clears throat> oh, I think it's hailing. Like, when it sounds hard like that, it's hailing. The girl is up. Okay, you need to change it to your everyday girl. <sighs> it's time for her birthday. She's like, I literally can't right now. This baby is crying. <laughs> um, yeah, you could put her in her every day. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and buy, like, the birthday stuff, and I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. As you can see, I just put, like, a little cake over here, which is so so cute it's pink and then i put the birthday balloons yeah it's going through the lights but you know what we don't you know what i'm saying we don't judge we don't we just don't judge and we got a little small little balloon thingy right there which is kind of cute i probably could have put it on the counter but y'all <laughs> y'all that's too much work <laughs> Cause when you, you know when the toddlers grow up, it's just kind of like, eh. she has to be lazy the way that she put on her clothes. Okay, wait, yeah. So before we do this, cause I don't want y'all saying, well, we didn't really get no, we didn't really get a close up of her. Okay, well look at her. She got on heels and it got a little bow on it, the skirt. So this is Sakari. I know, right? Gorgeous. With all of these beauty marks on her face. She's absolutely beautiful with these piercings, her long hair. Like 
she's just super cute super cute <clears throat> okay i had to take a quick picture all right but yeah that is what she looks like and then i will show you guys um i guess i'll show you guys fantasia once she changes her she's gonna change her into her every day and then she's gonna call for deal Oh my gosh, her everyday is so cute. Your everyday is so cute, mama. Oh wait, can okay, hold on, you guys. Let's let's keep playing so it. Okay, pause it, pause it, pause it. Okay, so this is how she looks. You right? I think okay, so she is a shade darker than her mom, but like y'all, I don't, I don't, I don't know. She has her mom's eyes because she has the gray eyes, like as you'll see when she turns into a child, but I just I don't know. All right, <clears throat> bring his tail over here. Goku, me daddy, in a What's she finna do? Um, no. Where's she going? Where are you going? No, uh, don't do that. Go play with your toy child. Baby. She needed to play with that toy. I think she's going to wash her hands or something. No, I had her wash her hands and the sink is broken. <sighs> She's going to have to ask for deal if he'll repair that, y'all. She, like, she has no mechanical, like, huh? Is the deal here? He's not here yet. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take out it's the um the visitor controller thingy um no it's not it's no okay wait yeah it is so this is also a mod but it's like the uh, teleporter oh that's what it is it's gone <laughs> okay but I think I'm gonna have her repair it, cause why not? That's gonna look so bad, and it's her birthday. So since the deal is coming over, he's gonna be coming for her birthday. And since he's coming for her birthday, I'm going to have him bring the dia. It's gonna be like he quote unquote brought Fadaya, but he didn't, you know. Okay, she just stopped anyway. All right. Okay, let's see. Where is Fadaya going? Y'all. <laughs> Great for them. And then bring Fantasia to her cake. How you gonna greet him? Oh, okay. Well, they are lovers, you know. Alright, 
Your baby girl is growing up. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn Baker. Go die, Baker. Okay. No, don't leave. Can you stay here? You can't. Okay, she's leaving. Um. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> so when they're children, they can't really stay for a certain amount of time. We're going to say that she came over, y'all. I mean, it's, it's, it's not much I can do with it. <laughs> She's going to have to meet her sister at a different time. Oh, you guys, let me know what it's going to be. Y'all know that. I mean, it looks a mess that way. Her environment is terrible. Oh my gosh. But yes, she grew up into a child. Fantasia. <laughs> Let me see you. Because she really might be like the cutest thing walking up around here, bro. Oh, you want to make a friend? Okay. Yo. She's kind of cute. She looks adorable. She grew into her head, y'all. She had a forehead when she was a baby. Like, for real. Aww. My first mixed baby in my neighborhood. Okay. Um, she's going to get some cake. That's fine. I think she's. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm trying to decide. So I'm going to have her, um, while I'm putting this stuff up, I'll explain. I'm going to have her, what is it? Um, she's, what? <laughs> Y'all, I'm drawing blanks! Okay, guys, I just put everything up into quote unquote storage slash inventory slash your Sims pocket. Um, but we're not gonna talk about that. Okay, so I just put everything up. She's gonna go use the bathroom and she's gonna take a bath and she's gonna go to sleep and she's gonna have fun celebrating. Yay, she just grew up. Really? Now he has three bolts? Because he didn't have... Oh, he probably did have three bolts. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Y'all, I be on go. I be on go. I gotta calm down. She just grew up. She grew into a child. As a toddler, Fantasia achieved the aspiration level of Miracle Might. That's fantastic, Fantasia. Life where Fantasia couldn't get any better or longer. Yeah, she's gonna live a happy, full life. Girl, come hug your daddy. Because he is your dad. I'm trying to see the skin colors. So she's... Whoa, what? But damn, what is your problem? Okay. Let's do another family kiss. Entertain him with the inside joke. <laughs> Maybe he'll dance together? Okay, good. Yeah, so, um... <gasps> I 
I'm very excited that I tried this music and dance activity. That was a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, her hobby is music and dance. Literally just like her father and her older, is it half sister? I think it's half sister. <laughs> Aww. Are y'all gonna do anything else? Y'all can spend some more time together, you know. Oh, she's gonna go clean up. Got it. Sakari is still in the tub. Honestly, y'all, she's gonna have to repair this. It's just, it's not a good look. It's not a good look. You're gonna have to repair my love. And she's cleaning up. I'm gonna let her clean up, like, if that's what she wants to do. Oh, he's in the bathroom. Okay. Never mind. I was going to have her use the bathroom, but maybe not. So eventful. And guess what? This episode is nowhere near over. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's literally nowhere near over. And our baby just grew up. This is their baby. He's like, Sakara, you are legit sitting there repairing that. Oh my gosh, it leaked to the other side. No. Are you done repairing it? You're not. This is Sakari's life, you guys. <sighs> Repairing sinks. She's about to mop up the floor and tell her baby daddy an inside joke. <laughs> what are you doing? You're taking, dude, why are you eating so much? Take a shower. Y'all, she's just sitting here cleaning up. Just chilling. Okay, entertain him with an inside joke. Oh. Okay. I was trying to tell you to entertain him with an inside joke. Oh, she wants to flirt with him. Well, he's here, so I guess. Well, she can do whatever she wants to do. I really don't care. Are oh, you gonna clean up? Well, your mom is gonna flirt with your dad. Probably in front of your face. Are you happy? <gasps> she is. Okay, she wants to kiss and make out. Y'all, this better not lead to where I think it's gonna lead to. Oh my gosh, y'all, please, please, please. I can't, please, please, please. <laughs> please, oh my gosh, I can't. Please don't do anything. Um. Please, <laughs> I literally can't. She doesn't even care. She's just like, okay, whatever. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, she's okay. They're gonna. Okay, they're gonna casual. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is so bad, y'all. This is so freaking bad, man. She's 
she's sleepy, but she wants to. Girl, please don't watch. Oh my gosh. Oh god. You saw them naked. I'm sorry. Oh my god, she saw them. Oh my gosh. So right now, she's gonna sleep in her mom's bed. They're gonna share this bed, you know? Which you can, you can do that. Y'all, as long as, we're, we're, we're gonna come in here. We're actually gonna watch her sleep. <laughs> oh my gosh, please don't do nothing crazy. You know what, why don't you just pass out, girl? You could always do that. Okay, okay, kiss romantically, okay. Okay, good. Hopefully she doesn't hear anything. <laughs> do do do. Ugh. Okay, it sounds like they're done. Yeah, they stopped because she is so sleepy, y'all. She's like, girl, I am about to pass out. I know, but you the one who wants the woohoo. All right, she's gonna go to sleep, you guys. Look at the time, I better go. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, I guess she got a little fun before. Guess it was a good birthday for the both of them. <laughs> so Kari got to have a little bit of fun. Oh my gosh, y'all. I was so scared. I'm so glad that they used a life jacket. I was so concerned. I'm like, please, please, please don't do what I think you're going to do. And, and you're going to want to do that. Okay. But please don't. Okay. And you're going to want this. Oh, six in the morning. You're up, my love. Good morning. Anything you want to do? Oh, well, you like music and dance. So, wait, watch a movie. Okay, good. Yeah, watch some TV. Not that. She's gonna watch the Sensation Dance. You know what's crazy? This is legit Fadaya. <laughs> this is Fadaya. You guys, I, I gotta see her face. I gotta see her face. I gotta see her face. Why'd you turn on the kids? You like music and dance. She's so cute. Oh my god. I don't know who she looks like though. I really don't know. I don't, y'all. When they are children, I literally have no idea. Girl, if you don't put that back on, that's what I have it on. Watch Sims dance. Sim station dance. Yeah, you have the day off, but your baby girl doesn't, so. Sakari's <sighs> gonna get up. Oh, you wanna go on a, she was on a date. That's not happening. I'd be like, what are you watching? <laughs> Turns off the TV. <laughs> your baby girl a hug and a kiss oh my gosh that's gone bad not dag dag she's not leaving yet i just have to make sure y'all were at 100 okay because when she comes home they're gonna go to the store because she needs some more clothes y'all like uh-uh what she had on was not it. Okay. Oh, let's see. Um, I think she's gonna. I think she's gonna stay awake. All right, you guys. So this is. Okay. This is. This is. Okay. 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 I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Okay. Um. I mean, it would make sense for her to go ahead and do it with Jace 
because she wants to make out with three different people and i can assume she made out with the con and she made out with the deal but she did make out with jace okay that's what we're gonna do she's gonna call jace She's living her best life now. Alright. So this is the chemistry. So sort by chemistry. Bam. And these are all the people that she's attracted to. Everyone else she is not attracted to whatsoever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not that they come after the children. That's so funny. Okay, so Jace. <gasps> yes, invite him over. She's gonna clean that up. It's always a pleasure to see you. I'll be right over. <laughs> my, my, my. You're already coming over. Yes. What did you throw away, love? Oh, she threw away a newspaper. What are you about to do? You about to watch something spooky before school? I don't care. She really shouldn't do that, but... <laughs> Yo, Sakari is happy, but we, we we trying to go somewhere. You feel me? Yes, change into your outfit. Oh, he's here. <laughs> the doorbell rang for Mister Zang. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was pretty bad. What you finna recycle now? She is such a neat freak. Go to work, my love. I mean, go to school. <laughs> Not work. Oh, you getting on the school bus. See you later, Fantasia. You're now a child, and that means I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Thank you now that she is at school. Ah, ah, ah. What are you doing? Ah, da, da. Sis, you have company. Go ahead and make out with him. Where you going, Jace? Calm down. Calm down. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm making out with the Corey. Yeah, Sakari is so pretty. Like I said, some episodes you get a whole bunch of action, and this is definitely one of those episodes. Oh, you want to woohoo in the bed? Suck face. <laughs> Oh man, not you fell in love with him, no girl, no. <laughs> I was trying to prevent that from happening. She really doesn't need lovers. Oh. We'll give her some privacy. She really doesn't need any lovers because it gets, y'all, it gets pretty messy with lovers. Are you serious? Why? Did that break? You know what? We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna keep it pushing. We're just we're gonna sound it out, you know. Sound it out, sound it out, yes. Sound out, sound out. She wants the woohoo in the bed. I mean. 58. That's not bad. 58's That's not bad. She can pay those bills now. Oh my gosh. I really don't want to hear that. Just reminds me that she has to fix her life. Oh, let's see. 
Thank you so much. You can pay those bills. I just go to sleep, y'all. She just woohoo with her baby daddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just. Oh my gosh. The fact that she wanted that. I'm like Sakari. Like, so Sakari's lifetime want is to woohoo with twenty different Sims. So if you don't get what that means, that means she doesn't have to have any ties with these men well these male sims like whatsoever the only thing she has to do is just do what she's been doing you know what I mean Oh, she's paying the bills. I was gonna say, why are you are you getting on the computer again, y'all? I was about to get so upset. <laughs> I really was though. I really was. Minus fifty eight simoleons. Awesome. Y'all look 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 at the computer. Don't you guys remember when desktops used to look like that? Look at that. With the icons on it. The startup at the little bottom. That's real cute, real cute. Okay, so she should be asleep. Yeah, I mean, I I was not expecting her to want to woohoo with him. And then, you know, she definitely could have said no. She could have because she was really, really tired. Like, she definitely could have said no. But sis did not want to. And who am I to stop her from all the fun? Who am I? Who am I? Alright, y'all. She has to get up. Oh, you gotta see plus. That's fine. It's okay, my love. Actually, how much help? Yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, but she's gonna call a taxi. Y'all, we have to change her clothes. She cannot walk around looking like that. Yep, I'm taking my daughter with me. Yeah, I don't know what Sakari likes. I feel like it's, um... I feel like it's arts and crafts, but I don't know. I literally have no idea. Okay. So I think it's the Round Barn General Store. Okay, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and save. We are here. We are at the Round Barn General Store. And she's going to go and buy her some clothes. Obviously... Her favorite color is green. And while she's doing that, we're going to be changing her appearance to see what she likes or what she wants. She wants to sell lemonade. There's a lemonade stand out here. Lemonade stand being smashed.
guys so um i decided to like skip through that part because it does take a little minute to figure out what the sim likes and whatnot so she decided that she actually really liked this curly hair and like i said like she could only pick hairs that would kind of match the idea of her being mixed so her hair has to have like a lot of wave and curl to it so out of all the styles that i have <laughs> she liked this one the most and i like this i like the idea that when she was younger her hair was a really dark brown but as she's gotten older her hair has gotten lighter so i actually like that idea and this is her outfit a little green dress with the little shoes a very very cute for a little girl and yeah so while she was doing that um Sakari, her mom, she just met somebody and his name is Miguel. Oh, and she already has some bolts with him. But, um, yeah, it's time to go. <laughs> it's actually time to go. So she's going to call the taxi. As you can see, they spent a whole lot of money. But she looks so cute. What are you doing? Oh, she's going to browse. Okay. Look at Miguel. I think he's waiting on Sakari. Yeah, why don't you go talk to him real quick? Look how she walking. Oh, I don't think they get along, you guys. Yeah, I called it. Yeah. But they're really attracted to each other. Maybe you should just try again. She's a romance sim, so they don't care. They're very persistent. There's Kwana. Alright. Baby girl is heading out. Oh my gosh. She looks so much like her mom. I don't know. I think... No, I really don't know. She may not be... I don't know. She's... Okay, she's obviously lighter than her dad, Fadil, but... Okay, you guys. They just got back, and while they just got back, I went ahead and calculated how I do the child support so Sakari can give Fantasia the money that Fadil, her father, sent her, and the money that Sakari is going to put into her bank account. So Sakari is going to go do that now. She likes cleaning up, so I'm going to have her recycle that. While her mom works on some things she needs to work on before we head out. A thousand percent. Awesome. Okay, so that's done, and now she's gonna help Fantasia with her homework. I'm telling you, you know, they be good parents. They just, they be out here doing whatever they wanna do, you know? She's like, you want some help with your homework? She's like, yes, mom. <laughs> this is what it looks like when they're helping with homework so cute so they can help with homework anywhere it doesn't have to just be on um, like a table or a desk or anything 
So yeah, you guys, this is Sakari's life. Sakari is actually very happy now. And as you can see, she fears getting engaged to Jace because they're in love with each other now, as we just saw earlier. <clears throat> They're in love with each other, so I don't really know what to do about that. I mean, she won't be getting engaged to anyone. I mean, she has plans to just chill and have her many lovers, you know, you know. But I love the fact that Fantasia chose this curly hairstyle and her hair is lighter than when she was a child. I actually think that's like really cute, honestly. <gasps> Yay. Okay, give her a hug, you know. Thank her for helping you with your homework. A lot happened that's why this one is super long not only that but this is also their intro I'm not gonna lie this is kind of cute oh I didn't mean to do that but I, I did mean to take a picture but she's not that close but anyways yeah so you know this is their life you know she is a single mother and she is raising her baby she does get help from the father like no lie she definitely gets help but as you can see she basically has to do everything on her own. And I love the fact that Fantasia's hair is so light. Like, that's so cute. I've, I've always done, like, the darker colors. And I'm just, you guys, it just makes me so happy to play this way. You literally have no idea. <laughs> if you can, go get Sim 2 and have fun. Get the mods that I'm telling you to get and have fun with Sim 2. But yeah, you guys, that concludes the Peterson household. As Fantasia grew into a child, and she's so cute, and yet she's older now. I just can't believe it, you guys. Literally, Sakara was just pregnant. <sighs> and now her daughter is a whole child now. Well, at least the car will be able to do whatever she wants now. <laughs> well, anyways. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode in particular. Seeing the, the life of a single mom, but also seeing the life of a child who is mixed. Where her mom is Native American and her dad is black. She is my first mixed baby in this neighborhood and I love that. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to keep rolling out these videos for you. And uh, I guess all I can say is I'll see you later.